Hello, this is Phil Levy with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, California Properties uh, with another Market Clarity update for the month of September 2021. Uh, it's hard to believe that the year is three quarters of the way over and more since we're actually in the month of October right now. Uh, but each month, uh, my son Joey and I bring you these Market Clarity updates to keep you up to date on what's really going on in the real estate market, particularly the residential real estate market. So let's, we're going to talk today about some recent headlines that uh, you may have seen as you go through the internet or on, on the news and so forth. Some of the headlines are that the market is cooling. Uh, and mortgage originations are slowing down and expected to drop in 2022. Uh, and foreclosures are on the increase. And we'll also discuss uh, briefly uh, the outlook for mortgage rates and then go on for our normal update on what is happening in the Santa Clarita Valley. Uh, it's important to take these headlines with in view of the context in which they're given and to dig under the cover, so to speak, to see what's really going on. So let's get started. Uh, the first headline is that the market is cooling, uh, and to a certain extent, that is true uh, because of seasonality. But if you compare the month of August with uh, the last five years, in terms of showing activity as published by the showing time application, uh, the, you'll, you'll see that we're kind of in line with where we were a year ago at this time. Uh, there's an in, it's in, an index which was uh, 185 last year. It's down to 176 this year in August. But look what happened uh, for the preceding three years. It was down considerably less. So even though showings have slowed down, uh, due to seasonality, they are still very robust compared with the same times in previous years. Let's move on to foreclosures. Uh, there's a lot of um, industry press as to what th that foreclosures are on the upsurge. And um, in fact, that's true. This is a headline that came out of realtor.com on October 14th. However, we um, we also know that even though foreclosures uh, did increase mathematically by by uh, just slightly less than 3,000, it's considerably less, maybe 25% of the figure that occurred just two years ago in August of two, 2019. So we're, we're well below uh, the norm for foreclosures. And what's different this time around is that most homeowners have enough equity in their home if they're in financial difficulty that they can sell the home and avoid a foreclosure. Another headline, mortgage originations are expected to drop 33% next year due to interest rate rises. Well, this again is, you take a look at the context in which this information is given. There's two kinds of mortgage originations. One is refinances. Uh, refinances are expected uh, to drop over 60%. And the other kind of origination is a new home purchase. Those are actually expected to increase by about 9% next year. So it's important to keep that um, in context and um, understand that this does not fore foretell a decrease in home buying activity. Mortgage rates are creeping back up. They were around 2.7 earlier this summer. They're now right around 3%. Uh, this next slide gives you a projection of what the major agencies are, are expecting through the third quarter of next year. Um, I would expect interest rates to come in in the high threes by the end of next year. That's given the information we have now. 
So let's shift gears to the Santa Cruz Valley. As usual, these charts uh, break out um, the activity between detached home, attached homes, which are essentially condos, and detached homes, which are single family residences, and then a combination of all three. And we also aggregate the data for three months to give us enough credible data points to establish a trend and to eliminate any month to month aberrations that may occur. Uh, as you can see, the number of active listings is, is down about 9% this year, which is down, which was down 36% for the prior year. Uh, the next the next slide gives you uh, pending sales. Pending sales are down slightly from uh, the prior year, about 16%. Uh, that year was up 30% from the from 2019. Uh, so pending sales are still rather robust, even though they are down a bit. Uh, that figure does not translate to closed sales, which are right about the same as they were for the same period for 2020. Uh, up about 17% over 2019. Median sales prices continue their upward swing. They're um, up 24% year over year over last year, uh, which was up 5% over the prior year. Uh, median days on market is still remains about a week, seven days. And uh, the month's supply of inventory has dropped again this year it's dropped about 25 percent it's a little bit over a month uh, prior previously uh, in the prior months it was actually down less than a month i'm going to show you this trend line and you can see that me that the month's inventory was down less than a month um earlier this year see that it was down less than a month earlier this year it has crept up and uh, to where we're now at about 1.4 months. This is a monthly trend line going all the way back to 2018. So you could see how far we've fallen and we seem to be picking up a little bit. We'll have to see how this trend continues. Uh, right now, I don't expect this uh, trend to continue upward uh, for very much uh, as we go into the fall season, which is typically a slower point in time. Uh, for home selling. So as usual, um, we hope you uh, appreciate and value this information. We appreciate you watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this uh, video 